what we calling it. I uh, hope everybody's being safe. I hadn't made a video in a minute, so I said, let me talk to the family and see how everybody is. I have been sick for a minute. Well, not really sick. Uh, my doctor had changed my medication. I had a reaction to it, so that's why I hadn't been making any videos. But I did check my messages and comments and stuff, and people have been asking me about my last video that I did um, about the past my wife's update. Everyone wants to know, is Kristen going to be on the show? Probably. I think she probably would be on the show just because um, I just think Tammy and Phoebe are the only ones who are not coming back. I think everybody else is coming back. Especially if Cece's coming back, that little rivalry with them too, that was her storyline. So more than likely, Kristen will be back. I did catch an interview where she was saying how they did bully OG. So, I felt like, okay, why would you say that now? So, that would make me think even more like, yeah, Kristen will probably be back on the show. I think this is how the majority of the women make their money. Um, I don't, I, I think Tammy found other sources of income where she's making more where she didn't need the show anymore. And when her contract was up, that's why she was able to walk away. And since her and Shawnee had a little falling out, they're not friends anymore. That was even more of an excuse to leave. Uh, so with that being said, this, I have not seen anything stating that. But I would assume since Evelyn and everyone else is coming back, even after all the drama, OG, everybody else coming back. I would assume Kristen is coming back also. Uh, I am curious how this is going to play out since uh, I live in California and the show is taped in California and we are on lockdown. The governor put us the first day to be on a uh, stay home situation. So I am curious on how they do in the filming. Is it going to be like the Love and Hip Hop's? Um, like I watched Love Hip Hop Atlanta the other night. Is it going to be more of that type of scene where they're doing, um, taping it in their own homes? I'm, I'm, I'm curious how this is going to play out since the ladies do like to take trips and stuff. So that's going to be interesting. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. And if anyone has seen Love and Hip Hop, uh, I thought it was kind of tacky of Kirk with the whole waffle dinner. At first, it started off nice, you know, the whole little bike ride and all that, the romantic little hotel dinner thing. But you could at least got some Belgian waffles with strawberry whipped cream. So something spruced it up a little bit. That was that was a little. Everything else was everything else was good, but he kind of dropped the ball right there. And uh, the whole thing with uh, Sierra and Shooter daughter. Getting jumped at school by the grown woman. That was... Who does that? I, I'm trying to figure out what a child could say to make you, as an adult, go to the school to fight her. I don't even understand that. Like, when do parents get on children's levels? Like, these teenagers. And you're fighting. Um... I don't know why Sierra's saying justice for her child. I don't know why the mother wasn't arrested. Because it seems to me the police should have came and arrested the mother on the campus when the fight happened. I don't know what that was all about. I thought it was kind of weird how Shooter handled the situation. Um, Because I don't know what a child could say or do to make an adult want to fight them. Even even if she did cuss her, was disrespectful. Like you actually went to the school, so that was I don't know. I, I wish they would have said exactly what was said or what occurred. Maybe legally they couldn't or something. Maybe it's a legal matter. That's why they didn't um, say. And the daughter really didn't say too much. Um, but as a child, uh, Sierra just. Uh, if you know, leave a comment below. I would like to know. I was just curious. Um, I have lived in Georgia before, and I 
did work as a school bus driver. And I know the county that I worked in, um, I did not live in Atlanta, but I know the county I worked in, they would have definitely arrested the mother. That school system did not play. Uh, there was parents who did fight children and they were arrested too. So I am curious to know, um, which I didn't understand that, like, let kids be kids. Uh, if you would like to see me do a review on Love and Hip Hop, because I do watch those, um, series. I watched Atlanta and the Miami, and I think that just ended with the reunion. Leave me a comment below. Into the next one. Y'all stay safe. And make sure y'all wear y'all masks when y'all go out. Bandana something. Cover up. People are saying, uh, these mixed things, but it's too many of us. Our skin tone that's out here dying. Now, the question is, why are we dying at such a high rate? There's many theories out here. So is it because we are ignoring this, this coronavirus? We're ignoring what they're saying? Are we not being safe? Are we not staying at home? Are we still gathering in large groups? Or is it that we are not being seen when we go to the hospital? We're being sent away until it's too late and we're um, passing because of it or or what do you think what, what do you think that the reasoning is behind um this whole ep this epidemic that is occurring right now and how race seems to be an issue on who's living and who's not so Leave a comment below if you if you have an opinion on it. I would love to I would love to talk to you about it. And um to the next one, y'all. Be safe. Peace.